Hello, welcome to Ellie Bear Toys. Well, you probably guess that I am kind of excited that we are getting closer to Christmas. We are in December now and I have got a fantastic new Christmas set to build for you. This is the Lego Winter Village Holiday Train. That's quite a mouthful actually. <laughs> and it's a little train that actually comes with its own track. And when we build it, you can put it around the base of your Christmas tree and you can have it go around and around and around. So we're gonna build it up and then we're gonna see what we're going to do with it. And you can see all the Lego friends girls are waiting there in the background there are two books and there are eight bags so let's get started with a little look at the first few minifigures that are in the first bag so here oh she's asleep oh she's awake there we go so a very happy lady here with lovely hair and a nice warm fur jacket and she can also be very happily having a nap somewhere too <laughs> by the looks of her other face there's also a little fella here a kid in a in a, in a parka in a red 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 jacket there and he's got freckles which just makes me smile and long droopy hair and he also has got it's not a walkie-talkie but it's a remote control for something so it's making him tip forward so we might need to no put it down here to help <laughs> help him balance so he doesn't keep tipping forward with the weight of the walkie-talkie and the lady looks like it might, it might be his mum is being greeted by Andrea and maybe she could take them over there to build some snowmen there we go yep and the little boy too forcibly removed from the front here <laughs> because we need that space to start building the first part of our build which is not actually the train it's the only little add-on that comes here let's have a look well that comes in the set sorry let's have a look and see what it is it's not a train it's not the track what else do you need if you're going to have a train well of course you do you need a station or somewhere to sit to wait for the train and this is the smallest little station ever <laughs> a little little train platform it's got snow on it and it's got a bench to sit on <laughs> and on the side it has got a lamp I love these lamps these are so Christmassy old school I, I just love them there we are a nice lamp up the top and it gets a wreath a holiday wreath there that's very festive that looks lovely and you can sit here would you like to have a bit of a sleep it looks really comfy in fact you look really comfy too Andre is going to join you just to show us how this seat works looks perfect let's move it over a bit because we also have a whole heap of presents to build here's the first one these ones are wrapped presents who knows what's inside it's a mystery I don't know and another one this is a lovely selection of presents. They're all so differently colored and they're all different designs. Here's our third one. And it's got a little bow on the top, little blue bow. And Emma can take that one over here. And we also get a whole heap of toys which aren't wrapped up. Little teeny tiny miniature toys, which are very, uh, they, they make great use of the skates, look. So this is a little wind up toy car with the big key on the top. <laughs> that is so cute great use of the skates I love that and something red and yellow more of the little skates they're perfect they're the right size for, for miniature toys here hey there we go you can play with the fire engine Andrea while we build another one what have we got here it's a sailing ship it's a little sailboat. Yes, you can have a bit of a play with that, Matthew, while we continue on. We've got another toy. Let me see what this one is. I wonder if this is what we're going to be using the remote control for that the little kid has. Let's see. It looks like maybe a spaceship. Maybe. Does it work with your remote control? Really doesn't. So it's not that one. We could put up here and we could do we could slide it down here but no that's not actually what it's designed to do but that was fun this one must be the right toy for the remote control so what is it can you guess got these big spindly arms and a couple of hooks on the side beep, 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 beep. little dot on the front and a control panel on the front as well i'm pretty sure you've guessed what it is by now here are its treads for it to roll along on and it needs a couple of little spanner arms and the robot is complete let's see if your remote works on it let's see beep, beep, beep. Uh, 
Yes, it does. There goes the little robot. Oh, just ran into the little boy. Oh, oh, it's just wandered off. I think you might need to control it. Oh, it's come back. Oh, and it's given the little boy a kiss. It must be. It must be the season of goodwill and joy. It definitely is. And now we're up to bag number two, which has another minifigure in it. This guy's got overalls and a kerchief and a happy little bearded face and a spade, a shovel for shoveling the coal, keeping the coal up in the engine of our train. That's handy. Well, you'll be useful. What is going on here? The spaceship has come to distract the driver and the robot is bumping him in the back. What's going on? He has no idea. Wow, it's also the season for mischief too, by the looks of it. Let's put everybody out of the way so that we can start building the actual train. So we will start on the front. We will start with the engine. Now, this set itself does not come with a motor. You can buy a motor to add on into it, and I'm going to do that after I've built it. So I have a motor from one of my other trains, so we can actually make it go by remote control. But unfortunately, like I said, that doesn't actually come in the set. It's an add-on. Some lovely festive colours for our Christmas train, of course, because it's a Christmas train. But they're a nice rich green and red and gold and black it's all going to look very, very luxurious. And we've put some wreaths on here too. Some gold along the side. There we are. Well, this is looking great. Now we've got some Technic pieces. Let's see what we're gonna do with these. Okay, these are going to be important for the wheels, I think. There we go. Here are the wheels, the big ones, and I don't know where that third one goes. Uh, I wonder if I should have put that on somewhere. I'm not sure. Okay, back wheels are on, big ones at the back. And here's the front part of the wheels. And oh, look at the grill on the front. That is so wonderfully old fashioned. I love it. There, that looks really great. Taking great shape and we're going to put Emma in. This is where the driver would be. It's not a lot of space there, but the driver doesn't get a lot of space in these, sort, these sorts of engines, these sorts of trains. No idea what that is. All these smokestacky things and the bits on the front. Actually, no, that's neither of those are the smokestacks. You're more than welcome to correct me and let me know which bits I haven't identified here on the train because I don't know very much about trains. I do know that this is the control panel. So if we put that in here, that's what Emma can use to drive the train. Uh, and we need some windows. And I put that in the wrong spot. That's better. <laughs> now we're in the right. Wow, well, we're doing all right. And we got some jumpers on the top, which means we're going to be able to remove the roof. And this part here, this part here is going to be. Oh, look! It's it's our. Is it our smokestack? It is our smokestack. And here is our stack of smoke. Ha <laughs> ha! That looks great. That's such a great way to depict the smoke flowing out behind the engine as it toodles along. Oh, that's really great. Okay, and this is the roof, which is going to be able to be taken on and off via the jumpers. There we are, engine done. Just need a couple more gold embellishments and we're ready. And the girls could actually click on here and lose their hair as they hang on and float in midair, flying out behind <laughs> behind the engine as it as it zooms along not on a track or with any carriages so I think they need to just calm down a little <laughs> Andrea your hair's not even on straight we might fix that up there we go now we can move everybody out of the way <laughs> and we might start on the next on the next carriage so we've got the engine done what is going to be following directly behind the engine Got some little step ups into whatever it's going to be, little side laddery things, kind of. A 
Actually, no, they're nothing like little side laddery things, are they? They're right under the bottom. And we now have got to put our axles onto the teeny tiny wheels and click them into place. Ah, they're running very smoothly. A couple of hinges here and I've missed a piece. And some coal. So this is this is the coal carriage or the coal scuttle. I don't know whether you call it that on a train, not certain. In fact, I have no idea what you call it on a train. I suppose it's just the carriage that carries the coal, <laughs> which they need to power the steam, the steam train. All right. There, some elegant ornamentation on the top and we need the front of our little carriage here which is on a jumper which means it's going to be nice and easy to get on and off there and of course we need some decoration we've got some very nice white snowy foliage with some Christmas lights on it oh that looks so cheerful matching one on the other side but with different colors <laughs> we'll mix it up a bit <laughs> it's trying to get away we are going to attach this very soon we need our little hook. So that's just gonna go up and over here to the engine on the front. Whoa! <laughs> and the girls can slide down the coal shooty type thing, the coal chute. Hmm, I don't know about that. They will get very dusty. So that's very cool. They can all pile in with the coal. They can all get dusty. <laughs> Surely there's gonna be a carriage for them soon. We're up to bag number three, which holds a new minifigure. This fancy, very dapper looking fellow has got a waistcoat on and a fob watch, and he's got a uh, shoulder bag there and a very grumpy expression. Wow, no other face. He's just cross, isn't he? You can't be cross at Christmas. I think he's the ticket collector. He really looks cross. He looks like he's reaching his hand out to, I don't know, grab this poor little girl who we're building now with her cute little freckles and her green parka. No, leave her alone. She's got a ticket. She's okay. She's allowed to be on the train. We might stand him over here and he can have a chat with Emma maybe and she might be able to cheer his whole perspective on life up. <laughs> Stephanie's sitting up on top of the train. Not certain she should be. Don't let the ticket inspector see. And now the little girl's gone up there too. And they can have a chat too. Because we've got more building to do. All right, this is curious. Let's see, we are putting some Technic joints here. Another one. And now we've got the connectors. These connectors that connect the trains, one carriage to another, are really awesomely strong magnets. So well, they're easy enough to pull apart, but they hold the train going even at super top speeds. They're really cool. I love the connectors. They're really well designed. And some little, I suppose these might be, I don't know what they are. <laughs> the little bits on the side. I thought that they were gonna hold ladders, but I might be wrong. There, now our red piece sits on properly. Now yeah, we do hold some ladders. And the blue and the gold underneath are just some really nice decoration. Ah, we have a nice big turntable at the front and a little a little corralled area at the back, like a little, well, a little cagey container-y area. We better put our wheels on so that it can go on the track, obviously, because it's a train carriage. And then we will find out what these top pieces are for. What is this piece for? There's a little screw piece there. We have to make sure we don't put these wheels on too tightly so that it can all turn freely when the train's running. That is very curious. This is what all our Technic pieces in the middle are for, to make some sort of cog, I don't know, turny tabley thing go. Let's see what it is. What's this? This is another teeny tiny toy with the teeny tiny wheels. Uh, there are three of these. So what are these? So these go on here and, oh, they look so cute. <laughs> Let's see what they're gonna develop into. And another one on the front. Oh, it is a it is a little toy train. This is going to be... Yes, look, there's the smokestack on the front. <laughs> it's just like our other one with the little wheels. There, it's a toy train that... It must go round and round and round on our turntable up there. 
What's this going to be? This is very exciting. I'm enjoying this carriage build. Ah, <laughs> okay. Okay, I've got it now. It's a Christmas tree. So let's finish it up and then we'll install it. We got all the ones on this side, all the foliage on that side, and I just popped the stalk off. Let's find that again. <laughs> now we need the foliage for the other sides. They kind of match, but they don't. They're just enough different so that it all looks proportionally correct. Put the lights on too. Oh, that's so pretty. And maybe something on the top. Gorgeous. And this goes right in the middle of our turntable and Okay, there's our cog, so that goes down here, it connects up with our screw, so when the wheels are turning, it turns the cog, which turns, well that's not working at all, there's not enough friction, in fact, actually I haven't, there's, <laughs> bits have popped off, hold on, hold on a moment, I need to put a whole heap of stuff back on, <laughs> I'll try again, put the little train back on, put the tree back on, there so when we turn it around let's do this manually when when the wheels go around the tree turns on the top so when it's on the track and we get a bit of friction there on those wheels which we don't have yet on my very smooth building surface it's all going to turn that is such a really nice design and now we're attached and you can see it's not moving at the moment because those wheels don't have enough yeah, they don't have enough grab on my surface, but that's all right. We will have a look at it in a moment and the track. We've got one more carriage to build. Let's see what's going to be in this one. Ooh, look, four little ladders up the side. There are four ways we can get onto this carriage. And some gold embellishment and a whole heap of little red clips. Oh, there's a chair. There are two chairs. It's going to be a little table in the middle. And, oh, I can't sit the Lego Friends girls in there. You know what? I might have to adapt this a little bit. We'll finish building and then I might have an idea. Oh, there we go. We've got a lamp and we've got a cup there. Might be the, uh, the diner car where they can come in and have a nice warm hot chocolate. Hot chocolate is very Christmassy. Perfect. Perfect for our train ride. We're going to need some windows so they can look out the beautiful landscape as they drive past or as they you know, train past <laughs> what do you call it when you go past on a train it's not driving <laughs> and some gold bars on the side to hold on to and some green louvered doors ah uh, it's so very Christmassy oh, I like that and of course some matching decorations on the side like our last carriage Gorgeous, now we just need some wheels. Wheels make the world go round. Well, they'll make the train go round. <laughs> and that's really good. Now I think we need a roof. And the roof is on jumpers, so we're gonna be able to put it on and off. And I like these little transparent pieces. Oh, and it's smooth and it's blue. And there are some little lamps to hang down outside each of those louvered doors. Ah, oh, that looks really great. So they're see-through so that light can come through from the top. Little skylighty type things. Look at that, it's trying to get away already. Let's attach it to our train. There we go, that's fantastic. So our whole train is built. I tell you what though, I have to mod this last dining carriage because I want the Lego Friends girls to be able to fit in there. So if I remove these brown chairs, I, well, hold on, let's see if I can get this one out. We're gonna have to do a bit of rebuilding after I've done this. I can put in these little chairs and we can face them out. They can be looking out the window. That's nice, now it looks a bit like a lounge car. So Stephanie can sit in here, if we can get her to sit straight. And Matthew can sit here with her. Here, Matthew, would you like to hold on to the hot chocolate? There, there, and they can have it. Oh, <laughs> we might need to put that wall back in so Matthew doesn't just fly out the side of the train. And look, they can sit there, they can look out the window, or they can turn their heads in, they can chat. I think that's good. We've adapted it now so we can fit the Lego friends in. Look, they're now they're having a chat, and now the roof is back on. We put our decorations back up where it belongs, and our train is ready. Actually, it's not ready to ride at all. It could be, but there's no engine in it. So I am taking our motor component from another train that I already have, 
and I'm going to put it into this train. So we need to do a bit of disassembling now, but it won't take long, it'll only take a moment, and we're going to have an engine in it, and then we'll be able to ride it around our track. Now the instructions in the book are very, very clear on how to install your engine. So it's not hard at all. However, we now don't have a coal carriage at all because this carriage is going to be entirely holding our battery pack, it looks like. Let's see what's gonna happen. So this part here needs some wheels. Let's figure that out. And there we go, there's our motorized wheels. We'll put our front grille back on, whoops. And we'll stick our electrical cable up through here, which doesn't quite fit. There we go, we'll put that other bit back on. There we are. And I'm missing a little gold dot, so <laughs> there we go. And we'll put the back wheels on. There, so now our electrical cable is coming out the back. We need to put this bit in here. And, but how are they going to drive? We've taken out the whole... Well, hold on. Uh, yep, yep. Uh, we've taken out all of the controls. Oh, there we go. Now we'll put them back in. And that little hook would probably come in handy in a moment. Let's put... Mm, hold on. Ah, uh, yeah, no, actually... We've missed something here. There. All right. Yep, no good. And we can use that little hook... We can twist this over and we can put our cord over the hook to keep it nice and tidy. There is, however, no room now for a driver, but that's okay because I'm going to be driving. <laughs> and now we are attached to the battery pack, which is being held in the second carriage, in the coal carriage, and trying to turn it on. No light coming on. Let me check my batteries. Hold on just a moment. There we go. Now we've got the light going, which means we are going to be able to plug it in. And here's my remote. Let's see, are we going? Woo, off we go. Nice slow pace, because we don't want to drive it off. Oh, no, too fast. <laughs> but there we go, now we can control it with the remote, with our motorized engine, rather than having to push it around the track. It's such a shame that this set, though, does not come with a motor. I understand it would push the price of the whole set up, and the set's already not a, not a cheap one. But still, it's kind of boring to have a train without track, without a motor in it, sorry. So here's our track, let's set it up, and let's go for a drive past our winter wonderland, in our winter city, our winter town, past Santa's workshop. Here comes the train, the girls are on it. We need to stop there though, because you need to pick up the presents. Hello, you've gone past. Hello, oh here they come, they're reversing up, and stop. <laughs> Very good stopping. Okay, we're here at Santa's workshop, could we get some presents please? We're going to collect the presents. Uh, where are they? Oh, here they come. Oh, that's magical. Okay, some presents. Now we'll go along to the toy shop. Here we come, slowly, slowly in. Can you look, 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 look at the Christmas tree turning? That's so cool. You've gone past the toy shop. Go back, back, back. There, oh, there we go. We're lined up at the toy shop. Let's collect some toys for the little boys and the little girls and the mummies and the daddies and everybody. All right, some toys. Ah, there we go. Oh, oh who's going to get the robot? Oh, and the sailboat and the fire engine and the little wind-up toy car. I just don't know. All right, train's leaving. I can see Stephanie and Matthew in the back. They're obviously having a lovely chat. All right, we've got the toys. We've got the presents. Where shall we go now? Oh, we're out here past in the park, I think, with a giant... Christmas tree there, Olivia was waiting on the seat and the kids are building a snowman while the mummy has a bit of a sleep down here. And Emma is up here putting the final touches on the big Christmas tree. All right, here comes the train. Pretty sure the train's supposed to be coming. Here it comes. Oh, the girls are on top. Can you stop and collect Olivia? You've gone past. Come on, come back, 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 back. Because Olivia is waiting at the train stop, it would be nice if you actually stopped. We're going super slowly now, there's no way you're going to miss picking up Olivia this time. There we go. Alright. Okay Olivia, hop on. There are no seats, so you're going to have to just jump on the train up here, on top of the coal carriage. Alright, they're ready. And off they go to deliver the presents to all the everybody. Well, everybody. 
I don't know who they're going to give the presents to. Oh, they left some for the little girl and the little boy. Actually, they left a lot there. Wow. They are so lucky. <laughs> and Emma has finished up the Christmas tree. Final touch. The big, beautiful star on the top. Well, there you have it. The Lego Winter Village Holiday Train. All built, all motorised. And my next job is to set it up. Oh, it's snowing. Oh, how beautiful. Oh, is to, is to set the train and the track up around the base of my Christmas tree. I am so excited. I'm going to have to get that organised. Oh, I love Christmas. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, click like, check out some of my other silly videos and have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. And I will see you again for some more videos very, very soon.